Hi, and welcome to the demo where I show you how to use the free ImageStation download software to download all of your high resolution pictures and videos from your ImageStation online account to your computer. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do to get started is download the free software from the ImageStation website. Now, I've already done that, and you'll see I've got a, an orange ImageStation icon on my desktop called downloader.exe. So, to start the application, just double click on that icon. The first window you'll see will prompt you to sign into the downloader using the same member name and password that you use to sign on to the website. Once you've entered your information, click sign in. The download application will quickly calculate the amount of free space needed on your computer to download all of your high resolution pictures and video. And it will also prompt you for a location to download your pictures to. So I want to change the folder that the pictures are going to be downloaded to. So I'm going to click on the Browse button. I'm going to click on Desktop, and I'm going to click the Make New Folder option. Now, you can save your pictures to whatever folder you want. You can create a new folder, or you can download to an existing folder. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to create a new folder called IS for ImageStation. And then click OK. And you'll see that the download application has created an IS folder on my desktop, and it has also updated the file path to reflect the new folder that I've created. Once you've customized where your pictures will be downloaded to, you're ready to start downloading. And to begin downloading, just click on the download button. But before I do that, I want to show you some advanced options that we've included for power users. Now, you can completely ignore these options. These are just here should you decide that you want to personalize your download experience. So to show the advanced options, just click the checkbox. The first option is called, uh, it's pre-checked, as you'll see, because we recommend that you leave this option on. And it's called Organize Images into Subfolders that Match My Album Titles. Now, what that means is that by leaving this option checked, when the download application downloads and saves pictures to your computer, it's going to save them in subfolders that match the organization of your online albums. Now, we think this is really handy, and we recommend it because it's going to make it easier for you to find your pictures because your subfolders are going to look just like your album names. But if you choose to, to not take advantage of this option, just unclick it. And what will happen is that all of your pictures will be downloaded to the root of the IS folder in this example, or whatever folder that you happen to choose, with no subfolder organization at all. Now, that might be fine if you have a small account with only a few photos and videos. But if you have a large account with hundreds of photos, maybe even thousands of photos, you're definitely going to want to leave this checked. The second option is called New File Names, and this is just an option that lets you personalize how the files that are saved to your computer will be named. So, uh, for example, if I want to call these photos Bob underscore, the files that are downloaded to my computer will all be named Bob underscore and then written with a sequential number dot whatever the file name extension is, which is usually JPEG. So my new file names will be named Bob underscore 00010.jpg, 00011.jpg, and so on. But I don't want to call my files Bob, so I'm going to rename this to IS underscore, which is fine. And then the last option is an option for people who might be in an office or in a network environment where they're using a firewall that requires proxy settings to be set. So in order to set your proxy settings, just tick this box and uh, get your proxy settings and type them in here. And these can usually be um, uh, obtained from your network administrator um, in your office or whoever sets up your network. So this is really sort of an advanced networking option that most people will not have to worry about, especially if you're downloading from home. So once your options are set, simply click the download button and you'll see that the uh, downloader is now logging on to my online account called Amsterdam and it is downloading two of three photos, now three of three photos, and the download is complete. So Let's take just a quick minute and let's see what happened. Let's open up the IS folder. 
and you'll see that I now have a number of files in here. Now some of these files are just sort of housekeeping files that are used by the download application. But the most important thing is that I've got a subfolder now in the IS folder called Amsterdam and that matches the name of the album that I had in my online account. And I had three pictures in that album, so let's see what's inside the Amsterdam folder. There are my three pictures, and there's also a text file where we save all of the captions that uh, you had typed into the website to represent each one of these pictures. You'll see that the file names for my pictures match the file name prefix that I specified in the advanced options of IS underscore 0010, 00011, 12. And if I were to clip, click on any of these, you would see that I now have my high resolution original picture files from Amsterdam saved to my computer. So that's really about it. Um, most accounts are going to have far more than three pictures. So one of the nice features that uh, the ImageStation download application has is that if your download is interrupted for any reason, let's say, for example, that you have to restart your computer or let's say that your internet connection goes down. Well, you're not going to have, if you have a thousand pictures in your account, you're not going to have to start all the way from the first picture again. The next time you, you launch the download application, it's going to remember where you left off and it's going to start, uh, start exactly where it left off. So uh, that's a great feature. Another great feature that we've included is once the download is complete, you can take advantage of the option to transfer your pictures to Shutterfly. So in order to initiate the transfer, simply click on Get Started. It's going to open up a browser window. Now I just happen to be signed in already, so uh, I didn't need to go through the sign in prompt. If you aren't signed in, you'll need to sign in. And I can click Get Started to start transferring all the pictures in my account to Shutterfly and taking advantage of all of the benefits like free photo storage, free online sharing, the ability to, to order prints and gifts, et cetera, et cetera, that Shutterfly has to offer. So that's it. Uh, that's been a demonstration of downloading your online photos, the original picture files and video files from ImageStation to your computer using the free ImageStation download application. Thanks a lot.